Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we learn how to make our lives easier and more efficient using Google Sheets one formula at a time. In this video, we're gonna create from scratch a clock in and clock out system powered up by your mobile device, which in this case I use my phone. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump in Google Drive and click new and create a new Google Forms. Next, we're gonna give this a title and we're gonna move on to the first question. I'm gonna put here name. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use two names and I'm gonna choose multiple choice and then add a new question. So in this one, I'm gonna put action. Make sure this is multiple choice and I'm gonna put if it's the clock in or I clock out. That's it. I'm gonna make sure I put this required button so they cannot send the survey if they don't pick one of these. Let's click in here so the title gets updated and now we're gonna go to responses and we're gonna link to a sheet. The default is gonna create a new spreadsheet but you can select if you already created one so I already did so I'm gonna choose this one and click on select. And I'm gonna go here and it's gonna send me right to it. Now all the informations that I sent from the survey are gonna be inputted in this tab. So now that we know where the information is gonna show up, we can now go ahead and test the survey. We click in preview and then we do the first one. So imagine Daniel Stevens is clocking in. Submit and then there it is. Now if we want to keep this as a real life example, I'm going to have to edit this time because this is the time right now. So I'm just going to put it, I don't know, 8.30 a.m. So now it's like Daniel just came in to work and he just clocked in. Now I'm going to do the same with Jacob. So now let's imagine that four hours pass by and these guys are going to go to lunch. So I'm going to clock them out. So now that they are clocked out, we can see that they have a four hour difference between when they clocked in and clocked out, just to keep this exercise simple. So now that we know how the survey works, we can go ahead and start plugging in some formulas to get what we want. Now the next thing to do is automate our year, our month, our week, and our day in order to have that information all the time. Now if you want to know how to automate this, I made a whole video about it so you can go ahead and check it out and then come back to this. So now comes the tricky part. I want to see the information in basically two rows. So I want to have clock in in one column and clock out so I can get a calculation of how many hours he worked. So to keep things organized, I'm going to create a new sheet and start the second part clean. So in order for us to have a clock in in rows and the clock out in column, I'm going to have to go with the basics and just pair them up. So the first clock in goes with the first clock out and so on. Now the first thing we're gonna do is drag the information from the survey to this sheet and we're gonna divide it. So I'm gonna have clock in in this part and clock out in this part. So they're gonna be paired up. So I'm gonna start with clock in. So now we're gonna put in here only the rows that say in because that's when the employee is clocked in. So how do we do that? First, we're gonna use the first formula which is filter. We're going to go to survey and we're going to select from the second row all the way down, erase the two so we get an endless range and then put my first condition which is only if it says in and we click enter and now that's what we have. So I clean it up a little bit just for the purpose of mental peace and now we got to put together the logic that we have to apply in order to pair the clock in and I want here the clock out. Since I know that this little table is all about clock in, I don't really need this. Instead, I want the actual time to be here. So the way to do this is going back to the formula, take a look at our range. Here it says it goes all the way to the column G, but if we go to survey, we don't need this column. So it's only gonna be on to column F. So now we gotta change this G for the F, and then it's gone. Now this column is free for us to put our clock in time. Since the survey uses a timestamp, we already have the time right here. So when it comes to date and time, it's all about format. So for this column, I basically have to copy 
this column G and just change the format so that it only shows up the time and not the date. So in order to do so, we're gonna have to start the formula. And then we have our clocking time. Now I somehow gotta make every single row from the clocking table unique. So I find out that the best way to do it is to use the formula count ifs. So I'm gonna be counting how many times each name is in this table. So the idea is that the employee just sends the survey once when he clocks in and then when he clocks in back again. So it's only gonna be a bunch of clock ins throughout the day, right? Maybe three, maybe four. So they have to be numbered in order for us to count each time the employee clocked in. So I'm gonna label a new column. So now that we have our formula in place, we can drag it down. You can see that it's counting each time this name appears in this table. But I almost forgot. I have to fix the original formula because I'm only filtering whatever sets in, but I'm not sorting this information. So in order to do that, I have to add the sort formula. So what this means, this is a column five. This column is gonna sort my entire information. So in this case, it's the date and one means that this table is going to be ordered from oldest date to newest date. So the newest date is going to be all the way down all the time. And the oldest date, meaning the first date, is going to be in the first line. So it's beginning with the oldest date. So now that it's sorted the way we want it, we can go ahead and create the clock out table. So for this table, we're basically going to do the same, plus one new formula that I'm going to explain a little bit later. But to begin, we can copy the exact formula we used in the clock in table so here. And the only thing we're gonna change is this word right here, we're gonna choose out. So now we get the clock out. Now to get the time, we also do the same as we did here. And we're gonna change the column. So it's gonna be the column R. So everything that says G is R. And now this is our clock out time. Then we move on to the count eats formula, which is the same as the clock in table, so we can copy that too. And same as before, we gotta change the column. So in the clock in table, the name of employees is in the column H, and the clock out table is in the column S, so we gotta change that. And we're gonna drag it down, and we see it works the same as in the clock in table. Now the next thing to do is to apply this concatenate formula or you can apply an easier way which is using the concat formula. The reason why I'm using concat instead of concatenate is because with this formula you can use the array formula which is gonna drag everything down endlessly and now I don't have to copy and paste all the formulas but the count ifs don't work with array formula, so these ones you do have to drag them all the way down and make sure you put it all the way down so it never stops counting. So the reason why I use this formula is because now I have a pair from the clock in table with the clock out table. So look, the first clock in of Jacob Dunn and the first clock out of Jacob Dunn. So now I can pair them up and in order to do so I'm gonna use the VLOOKUP formula. And now I have the clock in and the clock out paired up. So now we're ready to move on to the next part. Now here is where all the information is gonna get cleaned up and ready to be shown. This is gonna be my log entry. So whatever comes from the survey is gonna automatically come here in order with everything paired up, ready to be analyzed by the manager or by yourself. Now if you take a look, it's pretty much the same as the clock in and clock out tab. So all we gotta do is basically do the same formula, but from here. So now all we do is filter. And there you go, now it's all cleaned up. But I almost forgot, I want my new log entry to be ordered from the newest date to the oldest. So the old dates just get lost in the bottom of this spreadsheet. And in order to do so, I gotta put another sort. 
So five is a column if we remember that it's gonna sort our data and zero is from newest to oldest. And now we can see by the clock in times. So the oldest one is 825 and the newest one is 830. So now that we have the clock in and the clock out times, we can go ahead and create two more columns which are gonna be hours and the price. Now for the price column, we're gonna have to set an hourly rate for Jacob Dunn and Daniel Stevens in order for this to be calculated by itself. So first, let's calculate the hours. To do this, we're gonna have to subtract the column H from the column G in order to get a positive duration time. Now make sure you select the entire column and go to the format and put duration so you can get the answer in time spent which in this case is four hours exactly because that's how i intended it to be in order to keep this exercise simple now that we have our hours we can go ahead and jump to the next column which is price and start calculating how much our employees are costing us per hour so before we do that we gotta assign each employee an hourly rate so in this case i put daniel stevens 35 dollars an hour and jacob done 40. So now we can begin to work on our formula for the price. So to multiply a rate for time, we gotta convert time to the same language as the rate. So the way you do it is multiplying the time times 24. And then this is gonna be multiplied by the hourly rate, which we're gonna use a VLOOKUP to find. And now we can see we have our prices per four hours in this case. And now we're basically done. All you have to do now is input the information from the survey and it's gonna come here and automatically all the calculations are gonna be done for you. So now we just created a full clock in and clock out system. You can use your phone, your laptop, a desktop computer, whatever you want, as long as it's smart. So for you to be able to use this survey on any mobile device that you want, the only thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to copy this link and paste it in your preferred browser. And we can see that it automatically came first because I want my data to be ordered from the newest to the oldest. So that's what it's doing. Now to get the hours and the price, Daniel Stevens has to clock out soon. So the clock out time will show up here and then everything will be calculated automatically. So if the survey is used the right way, we actually don't need these tabs to be shown so we can hide them. We're not gonna use them. Unless you wanna put more hourly rates, so in this case you just go to this and just put data. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna hide it. Now this tab is the only one where you're gonna be able to change something because this is where all the information is stored. From the moment the survey sends the information, that is when everything starts to work and gets organized and gets calculated as well. So if you use your phone, then the first action is actually the last action because you input the information with your phone and everything gets done. So this is how we automate and we create a clock in and clock out system. So with a little bit of more data, we can actually see it works. We can use the filters for employee, so Daniel Stevens, and we can see his entire week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Monday he clocked in at 8.30, he clocked out at 12.30. Then he clocked back in, then he clocked out and that was it for the day. New day start and you can see it's all paired up, it's all calculated, and it's ready to be used by management or whoever is interested in this information. And with this information being automated, we can generate weekly, monthly, daily reports. In this case, I created like a weekly summary. The beauty of this is like I said before, everything, this entire thing gets powered up by one person using his phone and plug it in one single thing. So the person takes like two seconds to do the survey and everything gets done. So you, the one on the desk, are saving a lot of time. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to take the sheet of paper where he plugged in his hours. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Everything gets done by itself. So that's it for this video. I really hope this system helps you make your life easier and more efficient. 
If you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more of my videos which I promise are gonna be based on solving or improving practical day-to-day -day tasks that we all do but don't know how to do them in a more efficient way. As always, I'm going to leave the link for this spreadsheet on the comment section so you can make a copy of it and check out the formulas and start applying them in your daily work. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.